Hey, Jackson. Hey, it's Mr. Terrell. Hey, I just want to go over a couple of these. You sent me your homework. It looks good. Um, I think you're confusing a couple of things. So I wanted to go over it. Um, these, you were asked to find whether it was something was proportional or non-proportional. Okay, so first of all, on a graph, for it to be proportional, it has to go through the origin. So there would have to be some line that does this. Okay, it's got to go through here. The fact that this does not go through the origin, this means this is non-proportional. Okay, so it has to start or go through the origin to be proportional. Okay, these I've circled, you got incorrect. So think about, you said, you, you said proportional was y equals kx, okay? Or k equals y over x. That's your constant of proportionality. For this to be proportional, every time I divide y by x, it's got to be the same number. So five divided by two is two and a half. Nine divided by four is two and a quarter. Three, so this is different each time. So this is non-proportional. Okay, and the same thing here. This is a, this is proportional. It, if it was just this, this would be proportional because I have a y-intercept here and do this is non-proportional. Okay, so you got to watch. It's got to be here. Notice how here, every, the relationship here is perfect. Every y times two, two gives you x, or basically I'm taking x divided in half. Okay, this is a constant, so therefore that is proportional. We got that right. Okay, so you just want to watch that. Okay, these all you did well down here. Um, this one here, I don't remember. Let me look and see what you did. I can't remember what you did wrong on this one. If you look at your Oh yeah, you wrote you wrote k is 45. Remember, k is y divided by x. So that's going to be 190 divided by 2, which is 95. So every one of these, if I divide y by x, I get 95, not 45. So I think you may just wrote the wrong number there. Okay, those look good. Um, same thing with on this page on number three. Um, let's see, just here, I think you wrote this wrong number here. Okay, it's falling at a rate of 3.5 inches per hour. So that would make this, this right here should be 3.5, not 4.5. Um, let's see, I think everything else, I mean, look, I think everything else you did pretty well. I mean, you look like you're getting it, oh, except our, on number eight over in this page. It looks like you got these things mixed up. Okay, um, let me look at your, it doesn't, it didn't print too well when I look at yours. So let me see if I can go back. Uh, number eight, yeah, you put minutes and rides. So I think you have one minute is three rides. Okay, which I think it says it is, it takes 12 minutes to ride a roller coaster four times. So it's three minutes per one ride. Okay, so I think you got you got these two mixed up. So watch watch this because remember it's three, 12 minutes to go four times. That's means it's going to be three minutes per ride. Okay, so take a look at that. I think you got these two mixed up, or you got them you got them flip flopped. Um, we'll see everything else. Yeah, I think everything else she did. Everything else she did really well. Looks like you did really good on this, but just mixed mixed up a few things. So just some sloppy errors. Um, but definitely it is proportional and all that. You may want to take a, a look at it and see if you can fix that, okay? Okay, so I'll send this video to you. I'll post it and send it to you. And then um, if you've got any questions, just let me know. Okay, talk to you later. Good job on this.